Hey there. All right. I want to take you through how to make a quick lining for either your stocking or mitten for the advent calendar. I have the same tracer pattern that I had used for this cool for this cool truck and snowy scene. And I've got this kind of a, um, a lining that's sort of felt uh, flannelly, which I thought would be nice to use on the inside. So I'm just going to trace around. If you're finding that the stocking or mittens that you're making are feeling too flimsy, this is a great way to add a little bit more structure to them. And also it it will um, have a really nice tidy look. So I'm just gonna cut this out. Okay, and then oops, the other thing I'm going to do is take, you can use, actually maybe we'll just use a pencil for this. I was gonna use this marker, but if the pencil can mark this, then it will. I'm just going to mark, I can show you on the tracer a little better, where, this angle happens and the more it transitions i'm just going to basically draw along that because that's where i want my sew line to be between the lining and the the fabric i've got there so i'm just going to draw that in so i've got a guide when i'm at the machine and i'm going to do it to both sides you're going to want to place your right side up for your pattern pieces or for your you're going to want to place these pieces right side up then you're going to want to take your liners and line them up with the side that you marked up so you can see where you're going when you take this to the machine and then i just have my machine set at um at a normal straight stitch and i am just gonna stitch along both of these lines okay so you can see i've stitched along those lines all right so i'm going to take these and open them up and flip them around okay and you're going to want to what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to first press these down like this so hang on a moment at my iron. So I've pressed it down so that that is down. Then I'm going to flip this over and find that crease and press it again along there. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. You can see how this is coming together, right? I'm going to do the same to this one. Okay, and there's my two pieces with their lining attached. So the final stage is now basically going back to your original pattern to follow. I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to take a piece of my ribbon, pop it in here. Turn that in place. And I'm going to go to my sewing machine and use a quarter inch seam all the way around. Okay, and there it is sewn around. I'm going to clip this, clean that up, and now we're going to flip it out. This is just that extra little step you can do to really make this special and give it a nice finished look. Okay, and then you can give it a final ironing if you'd like and then there you go it's all ready